Okay, and Draco Larva. Uh, noon Rate is not what we want. It's kind of useless early on. Okay. Uh, precision Strike. Oh no, Dead Eye Ambush. <gasps> No way! He's running the elf deck! Who wanted who wanted to see the elf deck? This guy's gonna show us how to, how it's done. Oh look at that. Boost man. Oh boost elf. Uh but my, my bad. I did one. Alright, let's see. Let's see if we can beat him. Bloody ass. I quite like this tavern. I was convinced to buy it, so I did. And now it looks it looks good. What's up with the music? What the fuck? We're listening to some rock radio. Based on my like tracks on Spotify. Oh, look at that! Vernoiso's Commando. Someone spilled some wine on the floor. Bloody pigs. Okay, penitent. Okay, we can get a plague made then. That's pretty good. Any new games that you're playing? I played a few days ago, uh, Beautiful Desolation. That's a... I would recommend it, if you're into adventure games. Uh, before that, I played uh, Plague's Tale. I don't know, it has a subtitle, I, I don't know what is. What that is. I played Plague's Tale. Have you guys played Plague Ta Plague's Tale? Anyway, I played that and it was it was pretty good. Uh, let's say beautiful desolation. I give it like a seven out, uh, like a seven out of ten, or maybe an eight out of ten. Uh, Plague Tale, like an eight out of ten. Uh, before that, Outer Worlds. I played that. I even made a like a series about it. That's like a ten out of ten. I'm a big ass sucker for uh, anything RPG. I, I love RPGs. Those are my bread and butter. Uh, I love, uh, I suppose my favorites are RPGs, I also like adventure games, but I also like some strategies, like this, of course, this would, uh, uh, be in that category. Actually, should I use the bar guest? I think we might be fine, for now. Uh, Plague Tale? I want to play on my own soon. Couldn't watch it. Fair enough. It's a pretty unique experience. It has definitely more rats in it than I would have suspected. <laughs> and the French accents is uh is so adorable on that girl. It is a very unique story. And the gameplay is pretty well implemented, so I liked it. I was definitely a fan. Actually, that's not gonna work. Fuck.
Okay. We are probably not playing the Barrel Lord, but something else. Maybe the Bridge Troll. Next turn. We can even play... Oh, actually, we can't play Matahari. We don't have enough space. M1 try control. Any good? I wanted to play that, but I, I di didn't. I don't know if I could... Okay. I'm gonna check. Control... I'm checking the system requirements of control. It looked promising. I don't know, I guess it's... I can try it out. Uh, control looks like one of those games that are cool to look at, but becomes stale very soon. Did not play it though. I like to try it for myself. If I can. There are definitely some games that they just need to be played. Because you see it and like, yeah, I don't know, I'm not sold. And then you play it and like, oh my god, now I get it. Okay. You got a pretty healthy lead. Any of the cool games you guys uh, played that are just must plays or just good to know about oh one other game that i played and i and i fucking feel bad about not uh playing more of it is crap i'm really bad with names but in, in my defense i only played it for a very very brief time i'm gonna look it up okay i'll just pass it's worth the time to check it out. So, where is it? Played a little bit of Black Sad. Where is it? Why can't I find it? Wait. Okay, next round. I don't know, I can't find it. Crap, I can't find that. It's an RPG. I have to I have to look for it. RPG where you're a detective. It's not maybe not that, yeah, it's kind of an RPG. Kind of an RPG adventure. If you're a detective, but it's it's you're you're a really bad detective. <laughs> Fuck, I'll look I'll look for it. After this game. This uh yeah, this coliseum. That's the one. They also changed the name of the game. It, it used to be something else, but then they changed it, like, before release, apparently. And I tried it out. I, I quit. I don't know. I don't know if you guys played it, but there was, like, one scene in it. Like, I was... I played it for, like, one or two hours, and there's, like, one... Uh... One part in it where you're just insulted by kids for like a whole hour. That's what was my that's what was my experiences. This coalition, yeah, yeah. Hey, somebody, by the way. Uh, and holy shit, I was insulted by kids for one hour, one straight hour, and like, oh my god, that was that was intense. I've been playing range too, uh, just for fun. Would love a uh, new RPG though. If you haven't played Pathfinder yet, I haven't played Pathfinder yet. Or at least I have played it, but then I kind of stopped playing it because it was a little bit buggy. Plus, they were keep kept releasing content and was like, 
fuck me. I, I guess I just gotta wait, you know? They just, come on, finish the game first, then I play it, when it's actually playable, and I'm gonna have a good experience. Or at least I'm gonna enjoy the game like how it's meant to be enjoyed. Not just like they release it like half-assed. Okay. We get a... Uh... We're gonna uh, spam his board. Let's play them. I, I think they fixed most of the bugs in Pathfinder. The last chapter was a pain because I was perma freeze most of the times. I didn't even get there. <laughs> but they kept releasing new characters. I'm like, yeah, oh my god. It's kind of the same thing. Not, not, not exactly comparable, but. Uh, I finished Pillars of Eternity, uh, the first one, and then they released another DLC. I'm like, fuck, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna go back and play uh, Pillars of Eternity? I don't know. Same thing happened with Pillars of Eternity 2. I, play I played Pillars of Eternity when it came out, then they added content. I'm like, again, I didn't play that. So, and I would have loved to. I would have loved to first time I was there, but I don't even have my save files anymore. Baldur's Gate Pathfinder? What? <laughs> The only thing I hated about it was that they had a time limit. Pathfinder Kingmaker, yeah. It's pretty cool. I, I actually think of rolling uh, a rogue wizard. I, I think I wasn't really in love with my first character either. Because I like to be the character that just like does everything. I like to roll a character that's just super complicated. And ultimately I ended up rolling a character that was pretty dumb. Kind of simplified. I think we have to play it safe. What is this song? It's a little weird. Uh, there was a henchman, uh, there was a rogue wizard. Oh yeah, I know. But that's what I want to be as well. I, I was playing warrior, and my character, I just... The reason I rolled a warrior first time around, because I wanted to focus on the story and the companions. And, uh... When you're playing on your, on your own, like, you may not... Well, this is not a consideration, but when you're playing... As a let's play or even like making a video like imagine like streaming and you have like a, a rogue wizard or you have a wizard and there's just so much fucking thing to do with your own character and you have to pay attention to the other characters as well and uh it is just a lot to do frankly that's why i kind of chicken that to say like okay i'm just gonna have a face measure guy as my main guy and uh that's it I always play rogue in D&D games. I, I like rogues because I like to be the skillful guy. I, I like to be the charismatic, skillful person who is just, you know, maybe not the most useful in every fight. Not necessarily the blaster, but, you know, the guy who's like, oh fuck, what do we do now? I'm the guy. Play it. That's what I like to play. I like to be the smooth talker guy. What, what do you guys like to play? <laughs> I don't know. I, I know I definitely have a type because that's what I usually go with. Or do you guys like, do you guys mix it up or do you guys have like a go-to? You're playing the charismatic but sly guy. Ooh. 
Oh shit. I will never Well actually I kinda have the I just I just can't play the Borghist. Oh fuck. Do I do I actually yeah, I, I do want Okay, let's go Matahari. I can just play a Kran to eat the noon rate. Oh shit, he's locking the noon rate. I fucked up. Humans are not to be trusted. It's not too bad though. We can't play the Jotun. I've never played real D&D games though, neither, neither have I. Usually grind games so much that I can do everything perfectly before finishing the story. Can't stand to lose uh, group members because I couldn't do stuff. I wouldn't really call it grinding. Actually he's sapping me out now. I, I also dislike losing group members. That just makes the game a little... Not fun. <laughs> Not fun. I I suppose if it comes to realism, I don't I don't mind. In 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 outer worlds, it was a little different. It meant that I could, I could quick save and quick load. It was fine. But if my companions didn't just, you know, fall on the ground and like, oh my god, help me out. But other than invincible, no companions could just like walk around, eat the rocket in the face, dead. That means you have to quick load. Parvati. I love Parvati. When it comes to Outer Worlds, Parvati I fucking loved. I would have I would have romanced her 100% if I could have. But I suppose I was just happy to help her out. Other than that, like okay, Parvat is the number one. If it comes down to Outer Worlds characters, if you have to make a top list, which one would be your favorite? Rip Glosty? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Glosty. I know. He doesn't know. He doesn't care. He just knows like, oh, I guess I'm wrecked now. I have three cards. He's respecting what I got. Which which is still quite a bit. Well played, Elf Elfman. <laughs>